Before you start this job, you want to make sure the engine is cool and there's no pressure in the coolant system. So you can grab the hoses, just give them a squeeze. Now we're going to use some hose clamp pliers and move this hose clamp. Just slide it down. You can grab the hose, give it a twist. It should slide off like that. If it doesn't, you can use a 90 degree pick. Just get around there and just try to break the seal and slide that off. Now when taking this off, you might get a little bit of coolant dripping, but it's not going to be significant. If you want, you can put a catch pan underneath just so that you don't lose any coolant on the ground. There's a little clip right here. You want to pop that clip off right there. If you take a pocket screwdriver, you can slide this clip out. There's just a little area where you can slide that. That pops off. And just having the new hose ready, slide this off. Just pull it straight up and slide the new one down. It clips right in. And you might, might lose a little bit of coolant, but that's okay. Now you can take the old hose clamp off using the hose clamp pliers and put it on the new one. Or you can get a new hose clamp. Just slide it on. Then we'll slide it back onto the reservoir. As you squeeze the hose clamp pliers, just slide that right on. That's good. And where the hose clipped on to the wire loom, you want to clip that in right there. Just like that. After you're done, you can take off the reservoir cap and top off the coolant level or adjust accordingly.